this is Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Wolves. Secrets and dope and music and reactions. Liquor and Wolves. I said Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Wolves. Liquor and Secrets and dope and a German talking bullshit Liquor and Wolves fuck, 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 fuck. Welcome ladies and gentlemen And we're live Good evening ladies and gentlemen Boys and girls from all over the world How are we doing tonight? This is Liquor and Wolves, I'm Rob And you guys are of course amazing for being here Thank you very much Alright, today I'm gonna try and do a couple of reactions Just back to back to back to back And try and like Get them edited today and kind of shoot them out like I'd say every other day throughout the coming week. Today's Monday morning and uh, tomorrow my dad and I are going, are heading out on a not road trip but boys trip I'd say. We do that every now and then, not, uh, not wouldn't say every year but just about every other year because my dad has uh, turned 82 recently. And uh, I have a nine-year-old son called Joel. And when Joel came to life, um, my dad then decided, all right, this is the not only next, but next after that generation um, of my family. And uh, I want to kind of take the time, <coughs> excuse me, I want to kind of take the time to, um, to think about the, you know, let's face it, the days, the years that I've got left. So he sat down and wrote a list of 100 things I want to do before I die. Sounds a little bit, I don't know, sounds a little bit touchy but I really thought that was a great idea to do that and uh, some of the things that he had on there we've even done together so the example he had uh, dog sled to the North Pole on there and yes we did that <laughs> we actually did dog sled to the physical geographical North Pole I'm sorry and uh, and that was fire and another thing that's on there which is going to be started to be tackled uh, tomorrow is uh, see the Isle of Man TT motorcycle race live so that's what we're doing. We're heading out tomorrow to spend two nights in Dublin and then head over to the Isle of Man to see the, de- uh, last, the last two days before the finale of the uh, TT race. And then from there, head over to Manchester to uh, see the Champions League finale live in town because Man City is involved in the whole thing and that's going to be fucking flames. I can't wait for that. So I'll be gone for about a week. <clears throat> and uh, that's why I'm trying to do a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff today and get it chopped up for y'all to get some content over the course of those six days that I won't be here. And we're going to start that today with something that I never knew existed because it's never been suggested to me. It's going to be the big push, Ren and his band. And a lot of stuff has been suggested uh, to be uh, for me to react to from them. And I'll get to re- uh, to the suggestions over it uh, today as well. But this is something I found in a playlist that Ren has on his channel. It's called Busking. And uh, apparently what they did is Johnny B. Good. And I'm like, what the fuck? How did I not know this existed? So the context for this for me is, of course, Back to the Future. Marty McFly, Back to the Future 1, uh, Enchantment Under the Sea. And he, like the band with the fucking hurt hand dude, asked him, you want to play one more? And let's really get them hyped. And he's like, oh, all right. He grabs that fucking Gretsch guitar and fucking loses it. And, you know, the, 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 the very, uh, uh, very well-known scene towards the end of this track where he just starts going off into this metal-ish solo and does the whole ACDC Angus Young thing on it. It's just fucking great. I even have Marty tattooed here. Oh. So that's how much, how big of a role he plays or the film plays in my life. He was actually the reason. It was like <coughs> Back to the Future 1, when, when this song happens too. The opening scene where he's on a skateboard being pulled by a pickup truck to get to Doc's uh, house. In that very moment, it was like uh, me being like seven years old, seeing that in 1985. It was like he just pointed through the TV set at me. I had a VHS cassette tape. He pointed through the TV at me and says, you are going to be a skateboarder. And the rest is history, right? That's why that film is so fucking important to me. And now finding out that the big push has done um, Johnny B. Good, the Chuck Berry fucking just amazing ass fucking tune. I can't wait to see their take on it. And it's going to happen right now. Um, maybe one more thing. By the way, I of course do know it's going to be fire because I have intel that none of y'all have. Insider, let's see who knows what this is and why it's, why it's, uh, why it's a thing to be doing this today. 
um, we're doing juice. So, cheerio, guys. Here's to y'all. Banana juice. Wow. Oh. Yeah. All right. I'm, as always, going to let this ring for a couple of seconds. <coughs> Check my audios. And then take your full screen. Are we ready? I am. Let's fucking go and get our asses rocked. All right. Guitar's unplugged. No, it's not. Here we go. Finally. Mama told us one day you will be a man. And you will be the leader of our big old band. Yeah, many people coming from miles around. Here you play your guitar till the sun go down. Maybe someday you'll never be a life. Same time go, Johnny, go, go, Okay, I forgot. Okay, what now? Okay, a, th a thousand strings are torn on the damn acoustic that, um, or half acoustic Western guitar that our bass player man here just who sang the song is trying to put away because look, it's like everything is fucked on it. <coughs> so at least two that are fucked. A lot of things are going to have to be said about this, but we're going to do the whole thing again. So first thoughts. This is probably a, like a novum for all of us. My not stopping this every fucking second <laughs> and just letting it ring through because I was so fucking ready for All right. This, of course, is great. The end result that we get here, them busking in the streets with all its, you know, with all its trials and tribulations that come with busking in the fucking streets amazing end result and it, it gets me it rocks me it grooves me it makes like i've probably smiled throughout the whole thing because it does make one smile now musical performance of the piece itself i was a little bit like hmm because there's a bunch of but like i'm not one to talk i play in a band we've been playing together for almost 30 years and when we play live it sounds like this shit gets fucked up like uh uh uh, uh entry points get missed <laughs> words or lyrics get forgotten um strings fucking tear um amps unplug or pedals unplug and all this shit is of course happening here too it's live it's not a fucking polished brushed up to the to perfection 
thing that we get here. It's busking in the fucking streets and it's the rawness and the realness of it that makes it so cool. But I think we really were robbed <laughs> of um, the chance for Romain to fucking pull the backflip on this with a guitar. I was ready for it to kind of not only be level with Marty McFly's version in Back to the Future, but, you know, even go over it, destroy it, kick it in the butt, roll it up and smoke it. That did not happen. Um, the most solid, perf solid is not being disrespectful. Solid is meaning solid performance, not one thing where you're like, oh, that was a majorly fuck. Uh, that was a major fuck up. No, um, so I'm talking about Ren. The base foundation of this. Doo -doo 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 is of course it, that's as if it was a track on click it just goes through there's not one thing that you know is audible fucked up so just fucking throughout the whole thing amazing good solid fucking bass playing um, the guitar every now and then I had the feeling it was even unplugged it could be because there's so many people dancing around and cables that are you know lying on the floor are going into a pedal and going out of the pedal again, then toward the amp and everything. At one point, you could see him play strings, and nothing was to be, nothing was audible. So I'm thinking that's something that happened there. Somebody steps on the cable. It will happen, yes. And if you get fucking uh, like a, a whole club full of people, half of them on stage because the stage diving mode is on, that will happen too. It will get fucking unplugged, as in I will have to stop playing, bend down, use my fit the hands to plug it back in, and then c continue to go. No one gives a shit. I don't give a shit about it here either. It just it comes to my attention. That's why I'm observing it, and that's why I'm letting you know it happened. And that. So, and um, he didn't, f you know, fly all over the fretboard, w w which I thought was going to be happening, like like when he blew us all away in the I shot the sheriff busking thing. Because there you're like, holy fuck, that man can play the damn thing, right? But it's a different song. It's a different vibe that while it was happening there, the crowd was completely different. This is more like everybody's starting to mosh, and it's really like it's late at night already, and we've tanked a little bit. And it's all good. It's, it's not being... Mm, I'm underwhelmed. It's more like, no, so I, I, I kind of hate the fact that we didn't get the shine that I was ready to get. Then uh, the singing performance. I think this would have been one for Ren's voice to be delivered by. Because you can really go nuts with that song, just mel vocal melody wise. I'm not complaining about, I actually do not know the name of the bass player. I think some of y'all have mentioned it in the comments, but you know what I'm saying. Um, he forgot the entry point of one chorus. When he only came in after go, 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 Johnny, go, go, go. Um, also, not <laughs> happens to me every fucking, even band practice, I will forget my shit or miss the entry. So all in all, yes, amazing. I would, l I would have loved to have physically been there and enjoyed this live. And it, of course, I wouldn't have been stood there afterwards like, hey, I uh, kind of uh, disagree with the way you played the guitar solos there, sir. No, of course not. You're going to stand there and you're going to fucking down a can of beer and you're going to be like, holy fuck, dudes, this is like, the, this is the greatest fun. And that's what it is. It's all, it's fun. It's amazing fun. And I'm just going to, just for the fun of it, uh, we'll listen to it again now because it deserves that, I think. Let's roll. <laughs> This guitar sound, by the way, is perfection. It is right on the spot. It's missing all the bass. It's only mids and highs, as opposed to Ren's bass playing. In this busking session, where they're wearing these overcoats here, um, they were also doing, I forget what it was. I reacted to it. And there I was complaining about the bass being so fucking up front and so just in the red, red, red. Here, it is just smooth underline of, uh, uh, of the whole track. And the guitar sound is perfect. It's perfect for it. This is what Johnny Be Good should be played like. This is how it should sound. Unless you're taking it just completely rolling it on its back and take it to, I don't know, thrash metal or whatever. But here, this is what I was expecting Romain to have as baseline foundation of what he's capable of doing on the guitar and then take you to absurdities over it, right? But that doesn't happen. And 
and we see him here in the back, a bass player that's about to be, that's gonna sing for us later. He has the Western guitar. It's half acoustic. It's plugged, but you cannot hear up. Uh, you can't hear zilch from it. In the mix, it doesn't it doesn't appear at all. Not on my phones anyway. <laughs> Something was funny. I guess the fact that this little canvas thingy was being, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, sent through the crowd there. I think it's the big push sign that's usually sitting in front of the uh, uh, bass drum. It could be that they want the bass to be louder. So let's remove the sign, which is kind of, you know, swallowing some of the sound. That could be it. Why it's funny, I don't know, though. I will um I will take back what I said about guitars being unplugged. It is Romain only, you know, uh, gripping the chord that he wants to play and only simulating over the strings to play it because he wants to wait for another spot to go into. And I thought it was him actually playing, but no, he's kind of air guitaring it before his actual entry point. So this is where it happens here. Oh, playing. Oh, playing. Oh, not playing, but hands moving. It could be muted, and we're just not getting it right in the mix. But let's just forget about it. Uh, here is where I think he should have. He, he could have. He's capable of it. We know it. He could have gone to fucking just absurdities. Here it seems like he's not really sure. Should I go into kind of ska, backing, offbeat, strumming? Like, mm -ch -ch -ch. he just does it twice and then stops doing it. Out of tune a little bit. I think this is a little reference and homage to how um, Michael J. Fox played it in the Back to the Future thing. He's on his back. He's using his like his heels to slide himself on his shoulder blades kind of over the stage and playing it like this. I think that's a, a little bit of a reference to that here. <laughs> Look at Ren's goggles. He had them on his on his, over his eyes, and he's banging too hard. They just slid to his nose, and now he's like, "Fuck those things! Let's get them down." It looks funny. Look, <laughs> here they're still on. Here's where they slide. <laughs> yeah. There again, did you just hear that one stroke that Romain gives us? And you're waiting for it to either come on every one. But no, he leaves it out from then on.
first time we get some shine onto our drum uh, dude here, right? And yes, he takes it to this weird sort of offbeat, but not offbeat. It's it's nice. <laughs> Okay, we fucked up this outro. Like that was something was supposed to happen here, crescendo wise, or just let's all be on the. You can see that everybody's like, and he goes, "Is this where it goes?" And Romain's like, "I think so." Like, and we're all looking at each other, nonverbal communication amongst musicians, right? And we're even doing the whole, whoop, whoop, we're moving our body on the what we think is going to happen, and then there's confusion. <laughs> I think that's what was supposed to happen. But shit, of course, the fucking, like, it's a busking session and it rocks. Yeah, that, I can't even wipe the smile off my face because I like this show. Like, I like this shit so much because it's in the streets and you forgive all these things. What, what like, as if I was a judge to be like, oh, no, no, fail. Sorry, guys, fail below par no not at all i'm saying this is fucking cool as a busking thing i'm also saying though that we are there is room there's headroom right for but no for everybody here's what i would have done i would have let ren sing it i would have given um a romaine just the stage period period as in go crazy with it and we're just all going to take it back even go kneel probably like they always do and have you just pull backflips. and third thing i would have done that's basically it. <laughs> but yes, that was, of course, great. I enjoyed that a lot. And I'm going to go into more Big Push after this. And I hope to see you guys there. If you want to do me a favor, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll see you on the next one.